In this video tutorial, we are answering the construction question for 2018 paper 2 GCE, which came as question number four. Now the question says, answer the whole of this question on a sheet of plain paper. So let's begin question 4A1 says, construct triangle PQR in which PQ is equal to 10 centimeters, QR is equal to eight centimeters, and angle PQR is equal to 50 degrees. The second part of, 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 of question A there is that measure and write the length of PR. So what is it that we are being asked to do? We are being asked to construct a triangle and this triangle has to be labeled PQR. We've been told that PQ should be 10 centimeters, PR should be 8 centimeters, and this we don't know, but they've said that when we've constructed, we should be able to find PR, and this angle should be 50 degrees. So that is what we have, and that is what the first part of this question is asking us to find. So quickly, let's just be able to find that. Uh, we are going to make use of our ruler there. Uh -huh. That's our ruler. We've been told that PQ, PQ is 10 centimeters. PQ is 10 centimeters. So let's have our 10 centimeters. I'll use my long pencil there. I'll start from 10. All the way to zero there so this is P that is Q and the distance is 10 centimeters now I don't know where the 8 centimeters should be so we don't first draw a line for 8 centimeters but rather we are going to use our compass to draw an arc which will help us to draw the eight centimeter line. So we're going to measure our eight centimeters there. That is eight centimeters. So I'll fit my compass in the eight centimeter measurement which we've already created. That's eight centimeters. I'll stand on point Q and I'll draw the eight centimeter arc. So this means that uh, from point Q to any part of this arc, the measurement of that line is going to be eight centimeters. And I'm going to now, you, we are going to now use our protractor for us to uh, indicate the 50 degrees, the 50 degrees there. So make sure that uh, the best black line, I hope you're able to see the black line on the protractor there. If you look closely, there's a black line there. So this black line has to align with the line PQ. So align it in that way and make sure that uh, the very end, the very end where point Q is, the very end of the line, it should be perpendicular to the 90 degree indicated on the protractor in that way. Okay, that's that's perfect. So let's measure, you start from the inner, we use the inner measurement where the, the line is longer, 10, 20, 30, 30, 40, 50. So 50th mark is there. So you indicate that way and then you connect Q getting past the 50% fifth degree mark and touching the arc which we created. So this will mean that this angle that is here is 50 degrees. So this angle being 50 degrees, we now connect where that line touched the arc and point P in that way. 
so that we measured eight centimeters however we don't know or our arrow will be formed there however we don't know what pr is so we were asked to measure in the second part of our first question a so let's measure that and when we measure seven seven point five one two three that's seven point eight so we see that pr is seven point eight centimeters so you indicate that pr is equal to seven point eight centimeters pr is equal to seven point eight centimeters We go to our second part of the question. The second part of uh, the question says that that is 4B. It says, on your diagram within triangle PQR, construct the locus of points which are one, equidistant from P and Q, two, equidistant from PR and qr and three five centimeters from r so what are they asking us to do let's get back to our draft so b part is asking us to construct the locus of points which are the first part is that it should be equidistant from p and q equidistant from p and q what that means is that cut the line pq into two equal parts and so to do that we are going to construct a line which will be cutting across pq in that way so this will be the same distance as this so from this line to p and that line to q it will be the same distance the second part said the line it, it draw another locus of point which is equidistant from pr and pq so you see equidistant from pr and pq so p is common so you are going to stand on P and you are going to construct another line which is going to cut across P and going in that direction. So what this, this, this line is going to do is that it will separate this triangle into two parts. The first part, the other part is going to be closer to PR and the other part is going to, to be PQ in that way. And the last a locus we are drawing the, the third one is the locus which is five centimeters from r five centimeters from r so we're going to start on r and we're going to measure five centimeters and it should be something like that so the distance from this locus we're going to draw going up there it should be five centimeters all right uh let's see how our diagram is going to look like if we construct the three locus of points which we have been asked to so the first one is equidistant from p and q so how do you do that one so you can just reduce your protractor in that way Uh -huh. Okay, I'll, I'll make it bigger a little bit. Okay, so I'll do that without changing anything. I'll lift it and stand on P and Q the same. All right, then I'll increase the size. Maybe up to there, it's okay. Yeah, I think there it's it's fine. Then I'll stand on the two lines we just constructed, and I'll do that. I'll also do the same this other side. Without changing anything, I'll go to the other side and do the same.
right so you notice that these arcs these other sides they've crossed and the bottom they've crossed so connect the the points where the arcs are crossing so this part and that part i'll connect them into a line so we've answered the first part so this what we've done right here is that we have drawn a locus of points equidistant from p and q the second part is that let's draw a locus of point which is equidistant from pr and pq so it should be somewhere there all right same way let's reduce that no need for any measurement when doing this all right then Tangent point P, do something like that, and that. Now I want it to be formed outside, so I'll make it slightly bigger. So there we go. There is the arc. We'll go to the other side, I stand there, and we'll do that like that. So we've seen where the two arcs have met there. We connect the their meeting point to P. So this right there is the locus of point equidistant from PR and PQ. And the last one is draw the locus of point with 5 centimeters from R. 5 centimeters from R. So let's measure 5 centimeters. That is 5 centimeters. So we stand on R. And we do that. Okay. And we indicate this is Five centimeters from R. All right, we are doing fine. We are almost there now. We are almost concluding uh, this question. Go to the third part of the 2018 paper two GC construction equation, which is question C. It says a point T within triangle PQR is such that it is five centimeters from r it is five centimeters from r so it's a point along this arc and equidistant from p and q so a point t which we are drawing we are about to show there in our diagram has two conditions the first condition is that it should be 5 centimeters from R, which means it should be along this line. And the second condi condition is that it should be equidistant from P and Q, meaning it should be al along this line. So if so, the, the, that, that point should be where this line and the arc are, you know, intersecting or, or meeting. And that will be that point right there. That is what we are going to label as our T. That is our T. Wow, we've answered that question. Let's go to the fourth question, which is D. The fourth part of this question, which is D. Another point X 
in such that it is less than or equal to 5 centimeters from R. It is less than or equal to 5 centimeters from R, nearer to Q than P, and nearer to PQ and PR than PR, sorry. Indicate clearly by shading the region in which X must lie. All right, so this region we are about to indicate now has three conditions. The first condition is that it should be less than or equal to five centimeters, meaning we have this arc representing five centimeters from R, meaning what the point we are shading is above, within there. Our second condition that it should be nearer to Q than P. So we have P here and we have Q. So this is separating two sections. This side of this line, this, this line, this side of this line is nearer to P and this side of this line is nearer to Q. So it should be above in uh, above this arc and it should be on this side of the line. So literally with what we have, we have removed the whole lot of this part. We are only remaining with this section from here all the way to there. And the last condition is that it should be nearer to PQ than PR. So this line, above this line, is nearer to PR and below the line is nearer, nearer to PQ. So with these three conditions, the only area which satisfy them, all the three, is this area here. That's the area which we are going to label X. With this done, we are home and dry. We are done answering the construction question for 2018 GCE.